How do we prove to a Muslim that Jesus is God in the Bible? By using the Quran. <laughs> We've all heard the rhetoric by now. Show me one unequivocal, unambiguous verse in the entire Bible where Jesus himself says, I am God, worship me. In fact, if you read the Bible, there is not a single unequivocal statement. There is not a single unambiguous statement. In the complete Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me. I've always found this approach amusing. I mean, so according to Islam, Allah has 99 names or divine titles attributed to himself and him alone. No man, no human, no prophet, nor angel can claim any of these divine titles for themselves or it will be blasphemy. And so I thought it would be fun today to look into these divine attributes, these divine titles that Allah attributes to himself and see if we can find any parallels with how Jesus describes himself. Exhibit A, let's go to chapter 22, verse six of the Quran. And this is what it says. Listen to this. That is because Allah, he is the truth. And it is he who gives life to the dead. And it is he who is able to do all things. Now, one of Allah's 99 names is sitting right here, the truth. The truth. Where in the world have we heard this type of phraseology from? My Christian friends who's watching this, your senses should be tingling. Where have you heard someone call themselves the truth? Oh, yeah, of course. John chapter 14, verse number six. Ironically, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth and the life. And no one comes to the father except through me. So right here, Jesus claims to be the truth, a divine title, one of the divine names of Allah and Allah alone. So if Jesus is the truth and Allah is the truth, then who is Jesus claiming to be? Very interestingly, if we go to the very next verse, it continues. Verse number seven, it says this, and surely... The hour is coming, there is no doubt about it. And certainly Allah will resurrect those who are in the graves. So according to the Quran, who is the one that's coming in the hour? Allah. Who is the one that's going to resurrect the, the people from the graves? Allah. And according to the gospels, what does Jesus say about himself? This is John chapter five, verse number 25. It says this, truly, truly, I say to you, an hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the son of God and those who hear will live. For as the father has life in himself, so he has granted the son to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to execute judgment because he is the son of man. Do not marvel at this for an hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come out. Those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. So who is coming in the hour? Jesus Christ. Who's coming in the hour to resurrect the dead? Jesus Christ. Who's coming in the hour to resurrect the dead according to the Quran? Allah. So if Jesus is the one who comes at the hour to resurrect the dead, and Allah is the one who comes in the hour to resurrect the dead, who is Jesus claiming to be? This is, this is interesting. I, I, this isn't me putting my own interpretation in it. We're just reading the verse for what it says. And we're looking at how Allah describes himself. And there's a, another one that fascinated me, another divine title of Allah that sounds familiar once again. Chapter 57, verse three of the Quran. This is what it says. He is the first and the last, the outer and the inner. 
He has knowledge of all things. There we go again. One of Allah's divine titles. We see it very clearly. He is the first and the last. Christians, where have you heard this from? Who calls themselves the first and the last? Let's check it and see. Revelation chapter 1, verse number 17 and 18. John says, When I saw him, I fell at his feet like a dead man. He laid his right hand on me and said, Don't be afraid. I am the first and the last and the living one. I was dead, but look, I am alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and Hades. So right here we have Jesus himself claiming to be the first and the last, the one who once died, gave up his life, and behold, he is alive forevermore, having the keys of death and Hades in the palm of his hand. Death could not hold him. But according to the Quran, Allah is the one who claims to be the first and the last. This is a divine title that is ascribed to Allah and Allah alone. So if Jesus is claiming to be the first and the last, Allah claims to be the first and the last, who does that make Jesus according to the scriptures? In fact, if you read the Bible, there is not a single unequivocal statement. There is not a single unambiguous statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me. Who is Jesus claiming to be? So when we analyze how Allah describes himself and how Jesus describes himself, according to Quranic standards, not mine, according to Quranic standards, Jesus is the God of the Bible. Jesus is God who came down in the human form. Now, my only question to my Muslim friends would be, why in the world is Allah stealing divine titles from Jesus? And that's a cut. Perfect. Perfect.